Want to create your own viral Telegram mini app like Notcoin or Blum, even with zero coding skills? After the launch of Notcoin, a lot of Telegram mini apps have been released. But the use of utility mini apps is still very rare. Telegram encourages the launch of these kinds of apps, and you might even have a chance of getting potential funding if you develop a mind-blowing mini app with a unique and useful function. In this video, I'll show you how you can create your own Telegram mini app, even if you have no coding experience. Step 1. Create a bot using Botfather. First, let's go to Botfather and create our own bot. We'll manage and configure our bot using this tool, which is simple and fast. Open your Telegram app and type at Botfather. Click Start. Then click on the New Bot option. It asks for a name, let's give it, My To-Do List. Now it asks for a username, the username should be unique and should end with underscore bot. Let's give it, syntax insights to do underscore bot. Now our very basic bot is created. Type slash mybots to see the bot. See? It's created successfully. Click on the bot name to access its configuration options. Now, let's configure the mini app. By default, the mini app feature is disabled, so click enable to activate it. Now the mini app is enabled. Step 2, generate the web app using ChatGPT. The next step is to generate the code for our to-do list app. Open ChatGPT and type a prompt like this. Create a to-do list app using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. All code should be in a single .html file. It should have an elegant look, fancy gradient, and store to-do data in local storage. It should also have add, delete, and update item features. The app should be responsive and work like a mobile app on mobile devices. Use CSS media queries to make it device responsive. Let it generate the code. Done? Great! Step 3. Publish the app to a public server. Now we need to publish this HTML plus CSS code to a public server. You can use free platforms like Versal, but for this video, I'll publish it on my own test server. I already have access to my dev server cPanel. Here, I'll create a subdomain for this mini app so it will be deployed independently. If you want a tutorial on how to manage shared web servers, let me know in the comments, I'll make a separate video on that. Now. Go to Domains. Choose Add New Domain. Type the subdomain name you want. Wait for the setup to complete. Click to open the hosting directory. Create an index.html file.
paste the code we generated from ChatGPT into this file. Save it. Let's see how our app looks. Nice. It's really elegant. Step 4. Connect the web app to the Telegram bot. Now we need to take the URL of our web app and configure it as the mini app URL in the bot. Go back to your Telegram mini app configuration page. Paste the URL into the mini app URL field. Great. Go back to Telegram, click on the bot username, and click Start. You'll see the bot has no response when we send slash start. That's because we haven't configured any response yet. Now click on the top of the bot, and then click the Open App button. Wow! It opened our mini app inside Telegram. Let's try creating a demo to-do list. Yes, we can add, edit, and delete items. It works perfectly. Step 5. Add final bot configurations. Let's go back to Botfather and add some more configurations. You can add a title, description, logo, and more here. Let's also configure a button for the bot that will open the mini app on click. Select the menu button option. Paste the mini app URL. Give the button a name. Cool. Let's go back to the bot. Wav. A button appears here now. Click the button, and let's see. Wav. We got the data we saved earlier because it's stored in local storage. You can enhance the features and the UI of the web app by using better prompts in ChatGPT. Remember, the quality of the code you get depends on how strong your prompt is. Alright? That's how you can create your own mind-blowing mini app and use it for yourself or your community. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.